So anywho folks, uh, welcome back for more let's play of um, Sonic Heroes T Rose Let's Play. So even then, now those three are about to do some little bit of more gambling fest. Oh, I can't believe he did that just so he could get away. Mr. Sonic must be really? really? What? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> now I know what to do. Find Eggman and I'll find my Sonic. You all ready? This city reminds me of yeah, originally it was supposed to actually going to be doing a usual introduction sequence right there, but judging by the fact that we still have Fluttershy, Bubbles, and Luigi about to do the Team Rose playthrough, so yeah, expecting that you'll be still hearing us in our commentary skill wise, so. Anyway, so here we're at the casino park level, so as you expected, there's gonna be a lot of ring gambling going on, so. That's as far as you might expect it, that there's nothing remarkably different about it, besides the, um, the level length is actually really short this time, so. Oh wow, we're actually doing pretty good so far, we got some 30 rings, so how about that? So, um, um, yeah, um, about the, uh, the E3 that we actually did manage to watch and during, um, yesterday, especially in those about Nintendo press conference, what do you think going on? I am felt really hyped for that, um, actually, though, um, Fluttershy, because, number one, uh, they did announce not only one, but two Metroid games they actually did announce recently. Uh, first things first, they did actually announce a new Metroid Prime 4. Yes. It has been a really long time since um, 10 years ago when Metroid Prime 3 Corruption came out on the Nintendo Wii, so flipping 10 years has been that so long. I know, tell me about it, especially what these little Metroid fans were waiting for this for so long. But even then, as far as I know as well the bat though, is the fact I really don't think that Metroid Prime 4 will not be developed by Retro Studios this time. I guess that's a little bit too different this time than the likes of the other Metroid Prime games, most notably the original trilogy. Even then, we'll just have to find this out and see. But even then, though, it was currently in developing at the moment, just like it does in Kingdom Hearts 3. But even then, though, let's just see if hoping that um, that game will be so much more gorgeous in all that. this. So, um, another thing is worth mentioning, though, is that, that, that they actually did announce a new Nintendo 3DS game, and that was the form of Metroid, uh, Samus Returns, which, as far as I can gather, this is more likely a re-imagining version, not just any, um, uh, uh, developing from anyone else, it's more likely Nintendo's this time, so... Kinda super duper happy! Oh, goodness gracious me, his voice. You know what this voice actually reminds me of, um, Bubbles? Oh, what's that exactly, Buttercup? Uh, it reminds me like Duke Nukem for some reason. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned with that. Anyways, oh wow, we actually got to unlock a new mode, which is the, um, the two-player special stage, where we can actually traverse for a little half-pipe sequence in two-player action, so... But even then, uh, we're not gonna get into the action of our multiplayer for the time being, so for that being said, now we'll move on into Bingo Highway, so... Yeah, um... Yeah, it depends on what version you'll be playing though, as what Cream already mentioned about the, uh, the control, um, the, uh, the pinball physics and all that kinds of stuff. In your GameCube version, she said, like, move the control stick right or left. And then if you play this on the PlayStation 2 version, I'm presuming she might actually say, um, the analog stick. And also the Xbox, the original version, yeah, she will practically go to say, uh, the thumb stick, because that's what there's usually the analog stick is going to be called in there. So yeah, um, another game that's worth mentioning though, um, yeah, that, um, that Metroid, um, Samus Returns is gonna be super cool. It's, it's more likely a, uh, something a little bit too similar to how it does in, uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, which is the game that we've already purchased onto our 3DS download version, which is kind of weird if you ask me. But even then, though, that we may actually looking forward to that particular title. But even then, though, that, yeah. Even though it's a kind of a little bit more exaggerating since last year for Metroid Prime Federation Force, even though despite the fact that that, that game is mildly disappointing as it is. But even though, let's just hoping if we actually get uh, this particular game doesn't disappoint us this time, so. Yeah, another game that is sort of announced recently, I believe they actually announced there's a brand new trailer of um, the Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, yes, what about it? Uh, basically, what this does contains now is the fact that they actually now put in a um, core gameplay elements to the mix. 
Uh, I believe, according to um, the uh, the Treehouse Live, they did manage to showcase off there was going to be a health system, and I believe it's going to be three, just like how it does it in Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and that's it. Okay, so something is more likely a something similar health design from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, and at the same time, that I believe the core gameplay is very similar to 64 and Sunshine, so... However, there's one noticeable difference between the, um, the, uh, Power Stars and even the, um, the Shine Sprites in both these, uh, 3D Mario games, like Super Mario 64, and, and there's also for the likes of, um, Super Mario Sunshine and Galaxy and Galaxy 2, is the fact that I'm presuming that it might actually now brings up Vince, which is... Well, since then, it reminds me of something, that, uh, Mario usually already collects Power Stars since, uh, the, uh, the three Avengers, and also we managed to collect the, um, uh, the Shine Sprites ever since Super Mario Sunshine, and now in Super Mario Odyssey, they're now going to be expected to collect moons, which actually represents, uh, stars, sun, and moon. So, pretty worth, worth mentioning though, I have to admit though. Uh, well, at first I thought that we're going to be collecting those, uh, considering the amount of hats, but it turns out it was actually customized for instead. Speaking of customization, um, Super Mario Odyssey actually brings up the, uh, the custom uh, customizable um, gear change. Something is a little bit similar to how it does in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Except the fact that we're actually going to be, um, take a little bit emphasis on collector fun syndrome this time. So, uh, and also another thing is worth mentioning though, I really don't think there's going to be extra lives in this game this time around. I think the only time you do die in the game is the fact that, um, you lose 10 coins, and even then though, pretty worth mentioning though, thanks to um, Nintendo E3 Life, um, uh, Nintendo um, E3 Treehouse Live, so even then, pretty worth mentioning though, so. Yeah, uh, one thing you might actually notice right off the bat though, as you see on screen here, uh, were uh, Luigi, Fluttershy, and Bubbles when they uh, managed to finish off with Bingo Highway. Um, unfortunately though, that those three did not com come across into the third bingo table, so you only have to deal with just only two of them, so. Pretty short every once in a while, but even then though, you should be able to actually have some little bit more fun time. Yeah, I know that, but um, Buttercup. Yeah, exactly for sure. You guys again? Dr. Eggman! Him again! Past your bedtime, kiddies! Now to tuck you in at them! <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to be doing with Robot Carnival, or Robot Carnival, I should say, uh, for a third time in a row. Oh yeah, because of, you know, Team Sonic and Team Dark's playthrough, so... As far as in this point, as far as you probably know as well for that, is that I'm assuming these little enemy rampage stages are going to be much more short at this time around, as opposed to the longer um, variations as opposed to Team Sonic and Team Dark's version. Because the reason being for that, because um, they just want to make the, uh, the entire Team Rose um, playthrough entirely short, so... Because basically if you keep on just smacking those, um, these Eggman's robots right there, or in this case destroying them, then you should be able to actually just to finish this particular um, enemy endurance run with really, really quick and faster um, timing. So yeah, there's well be worth mentioning up this whole kind of stuff, so... Anyway, um, another game that did actually announce... Oh yeah, there's one more thing before we actually move on to the next game. Um, we might actually go do the exactly same conversation until we actually get into... Until you three manage to come across into the very end of Team Rose's gameplay, so... Yeah, and as far as the release date on Super Mario Odyssey, I really love the whole fact they actually now added in for the first time ever in the Mario series. Wait a minute, did Eggman just say boys? Well, there's only one boy, and that was the form of Big the Cat, but everything else is more likely girls, like Amy Rose or Cream the Rapid and whatever, so... Man, there sure were lots of them! But hey, at least we managed to deal with them all, Amy. Calm down for a moment. So anyways, I believe you're now moving on to Rail Cannon, so... Oh boy, a lot of rail grinding segments that a lot of people seem to actually have row at it. Well, at least for the most part, Luigi. Mmm, I smell froggy. Oh, Jesus, Chikoma is cool. Alright, let's go! 
Alright, so, but again, that's, um, you know, that's what I was just expecting. Yeah. Anyway, what are you about to say, Flo Shine? Um, I really love how the fact that I really enjoyed the, um, the, uh, the vocal theme on, uh, Super Mario Odyssey called the Art, um, Odyssey, which, as far as I can tell, in the end of the trailer, they actually briefly showcase off the brief, um, clip that showed that, uh, Pauline is going to make her first ever debut in a 3D Mario game. Which, as far as I noticed, I believe she's going to be singing the Odyssey song, which I believe that might be really incredible if you ask me, so even then though, that I was really hyping for it. Especially, not to mention, the release date is being confirmed. Oh, what's it going to be this time? Is it going to be uh, November, just like in 3D Land and 3D World? It turns out it didn't this time around. Instead, it was actually going to be released sometime in October. Which is the importance of... The 27th of October. Oh, sweet! I'm actually really looking forward to that, actually. I really love how the fact that in the, um, the usage of these, um, you know, the Mario's capabilities, which is now called a Cappy, that's his real name. It turns out they can actually use the, the use Cappy for the specific different um, obstacles and challenges. Like, for instance, you can now actually emerge um, different obstacles, which is really, really cool and weird at the same time. Like, uh, for instance, I saw a clip of me uh, pretending I was disguised as a taxi. See, no wonder why you're actually going to be becoming a taxi any time. I was really hoping that you could be joined in, Luigi, although we're not exactly 100% sure just yet. But even though, I was just hoping if we actually just to find this out until we, uh, when it gets to likely four months' time, so... And what makes it a little bit weird, though, is the fact that they recently announced there's going to be a... Uh, as far as I noticed that, well, the best, they actually announced um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is actually the first game they did actually reveal in this, uh, Nintendo Spotlight, which, to be honest, I wasn't really interested on this game, honestly, because I'm not a huge, entirely fan of, um, Xenoblade Chronicles, honestly, because even then, uh, that's just not my cup of tea. However, though, uh, Mario, and especially you, Luigi, you might actually feel surprised by it. Oh, what's that exactly? It turns out that uh, the new Mario Luigi RPG game just recently announced during yesterday an LC form of, truth be told, is Mario Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Millions. Oh, okay, so that game is also true. So even that though, between Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle and especially Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, those games have now been revealed as real. So yeah, I'm looking forward to those two games in particular. So. The ones we're actually interested in is actually Superstar Saga, but even then though, I'm feeling incredibly bad for myself, because even though we already technically got ourselves the original copy of the game on the Game Boy Advance, and also we managed to re-download that onto the Nintendo Wii U's eShop version, and now they're trying to reveal the Nintendo 3DS version, aka the remake of Superstar Saga, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that actually. Yeah, especially how the fact that you two might actually enjoy this game even a lot more. Well, usually that since in 2015 we got ourselves Mario Luigi Paper Jam Brothers, and that's the only things we got in 2015 for that particular RPG series. Okay, now we move on into Bullet Station now, so even then though, that it, um, um, similar to how it does in Team Dark segment, we usually start things off in this segment. However, the thing is though, is that we don't have to worry about this whole, uh, bobsled section, and even then, uh, between the, um, the trade section, and especially the cannon section, you can only come across into those particular two, uh, um, environments at least once, so, pretty different from, uh, Team Sonic and Team Dark version, so, yeah, as far as I just pretty really much noticing that already. Okay, so what's another game that did announce this so far? Um, I'm pretty sure they did announce there's going to be a next Kirby game coming onto Nintendo Switch, and thank God, it was not only involving for the paintbrush system, unlike it does in the Wii U installments, thank God. Because instead, it's more likely a traditional 2D Kirby game, with um, the four-player co-op aspect, just like how it does in um, Kirby's Adventure Wii. We even know it has been almost like six years since when that's happening. So, um, I'm pretty sure that the only difference is this time around is that you don't actually take control of Meta Knight and uh, Waddle Dee and, of course, King Diddy this time around. Because I'm pretty sure you're actually going to be taking control of uh, just Kirby himself, in addition to the uh, the enemies, which are very similar. This uh, exactly the same concept as from Kirby Superstar or Kirby's Bomb Pack, if you will. That if you're trying to actually just uh, suck up the uh, the uh, the enemies and such, 
You can actually manage to use them as far as the uh, the partner airlines is. So yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And as far as the release date on the new Kirby game coming to Nintendo Switch, it will probably be definition of next year. So. Because, you know, similar to how it does it in Kirby Triple Deluxe on Nintendo 3DS back in 2013, they're expected to actually release that in touring and a year later. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned with that, Fluttershy, though, so... But anyways, now we're done with that, so do we get ourselves a yet another A rank, which was sure enough, we suddenly did. Man, you two must have... Uh, you three, for that matter. You're actually doing really well with this playthrough so far. There's no too many deaths on there so far. Well, at least as far as we're getting to the hardest parts of the game, um, Fluttershy, though, I will must admit, though. Oh, crud. Anyway, it's now for Egg Albatross. Something weird in there. Jeez, you'll be reunited with Chocola very Froggy soon. Froggy, too? Let's get him before Sonic does. Then he'll be head over heels for me. Ready, old cannons. Open fire. This is it. Ready? Of course, just like last time, keep spamming a homie attack onto this first phase until you actually decide to actually, you know, keep on attacking this little um, aircraft. So, yeah, it's pretty something fun until I kind of think about it. As far as the um, the layout's concerned, it makes it happen more easier. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, god dang it. Oh, there goes your first staff of Team Rose. Oh, well, I was not to see that coming. This is probably because of this little projectile that's trying to catch me off guard. But no, at least we'll actually take it as far as this is going, Fluttershy. I will must be the best about it right now, so... Anyways, let's try that again, and hopefully we can actually do this as a successful attempt. Even then, though, it's not 100% guaranteed to get any rank, honestly, because... Um, obviously, sometimes that A button doesn't seem to actually probably act in time. Yeah, as far as I just noticed that from the start, so... Anyway, though, so it looks like you're gonna take down this thing here, so it should be good to go. So don't move as long as the other camera padding just starts to actually smash out at the moment. Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. We actually die like twice in this battle. Oh, jeez, my memories are coming back ever since when I was like, when we first got the game or something like that. Although it's technically now uh, fi almost 15, so 15 years old at that time, or more accurately, 14 years all at that time, so... Anyway, um, the next game they did announce is going to be a yet another Yoshi game. That's, um, you know, but in 2015 they did announce Yoshi's Woolly World, specifically on Nintendo Wii U, and later bought it on Nintendo Wii called the uh, Putin Yoshi's Woolly World recently, since, uh, four months ago. And now they decide to actually put it on Nintendo Switch this time. Which is something is a little bit similar to the other Woolly World, except the fact that it doesn't usually involve Woolly at all. Because I believe it might actually bring out the exactly the same gameplay aspect as all. Although the multiplayer cooperative thing is still there. However, the noticeable difference was there was a different style to it, which I believe, taking a note from um, Super King Mario, that uh, you actually going to shift to 2D to 3D, specifically on Mario. The thing is, though, this time around, is that you can actually shift between these different sides this time. So, at least as far as I'm concerned with how this is going for it, so. At least as far as that game is concerned, it will be releasing on sometime in 2018, just like how it does it on Kirby game on Nintendo Switch. So yeah, we're really excited for those two games until next year, for Nintendo Switch most likely, so... I'm guessing that Nintendo Switch is going to be even much more popular than the likes of Nintendo Wii U this time. At least as far as I was hoping for this little, uh, more sales for that. So, uh... Um, yeah, another game is uh, worth mentioning enough if they actually did announce, I believe they actually did announce new stuff on Sonic Forces, specifically the new trailer for the, um, Sonic Forces. Specific specifically on the Nintendo Switch um, trailer. Uh, first things first, they did actually showcase off these villains next return, like for instance, uh, one nostalgic villain, and also for the likes of these three villains that we already know. Like, for instance, Shadow is now going to be part of the villains, which I don't know why. And also Metal Sonic from the modern counterparts instead of the classic counterpart, which I thought was worth mentioning. And there's also, although we'll talk more to the details until we actually get, um, you three are about to get onto the Frog Forest, which I'm assuming after that CGI cutscene is done. Hey, it's just a stupid copy! Froggy, where are you? Let's go home. Jeez, what's wrong? Oh, no. Yeah, a chow nap. But why? I'm 
not really sure, but betcha Dr. Eggman has something to do with it, and we're not gonna let him get away with it. Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> Okie dokie. No, as far as um, but the diff, the diff, oh, I can't, sorry, I can't speak today. Uh, the difference was though is the fact that it doesn't usually involve him for that Metal Sonic is trying to actually scan in those different copy abilities and all that stuff. So that's the only major difference between Team Sonic and Team Dark version. So yeah, as far as I can see, for this, this is how this is going. So anyway, now you guys are moving on into Frog Force. So. Don't expect it that, um, I believe this is gonna be another level we're not gonna be getting a special stage key with, so specifically on Lost Jungle. Because, uh, the only thing, the only special stage keys you need to go, uh, you need to actually get there, folks, is basically the ones in Mystic Mansion and Final Fortress, so... Yeah, don't worry, Mario, we're actually gonna be pretty much going for this so far, so as far as I'm concerned, if we don't get all the Chaos Emeralds in train time before an, um, uh, Chaotic, uh, Team Chaotix playthrough, then we should be able to qualify we can actually get these emeralds during time, so... And besides the fact that we need to actually get this game done before, um, uh, Chip and Daffy are decided to do a redo Let's Play on Sonic Colors until, uh, during almost until six days to go, so... Yeah, and as a result though, however, I'm pretty sure Piglet is going to be doing his last play on the Wii last play of Sonic the Hedgehog 4, um, Episode 1, Metal, and 2, so... Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, no sign of um, Sonic the Hedgehog for Episode 3 because obviously the mixed feelings of um, Episode 2, so yeah, that's as far as I can hope from that already, so... So anyways, um, another game they did actually announce is that, um, I don't know what you expected for this point, but even now, I think that's the only games that we are uh, consistent guarding it. Although, for what it's worth, it's the fact that, um, we already know about the Mario and Rabbids Kingdom battle since, um, yesterday or something like that. But instead of that, though, it actually kind of brings up a new footage of it this uh, so far. So anyways, back onto the Sonic Forces trailer, specifically the E3 um, trailer of Sonic Forces. Uh, they now actually bring up a two brand new villains introduced. Well, usually they already been in two since both games, which are Sonic Adventure and also Sonic Lost World, which are the leader of the, uh, the Deadly Six, which was Savok, which I have no idea why he was there, and also, strangely enough, Chaos. Why chaos? Was he exist already? Well, ever since um, Sonic Adventure 1, and even it counts for LEGO Dimensions as well, if you want to include that. Oh, right, yeah, because of, um, the continuity or something like that, or anything else for this matter, so... Anyway, um, what else did he actually bring up with? Oh, yeah, a brand new um, villain introduced in the Sonic universe, which... It was currently unknown. But even then, we'll never know until when the game decides to actually lead to developing, as far as that's been concerned into it just yet. So, anyway, now you're moving on into Lost Jungle. Escape the Jungle, basically. So, pretty simple text for a mission level, so, you know. I wonder if Froggy is here in this jungle. Well, to be told that Big Nick Cat, that you're able to actually come across into the identical Froggy to your counterpart, but except the fact that the major difference was though, they are entirely big. Yeah, as far as I noticed that for the aesthetical viewpoint, so... Anyway, so, um, that's all I can really imagine to say about this sort of particular pass though, honestly, for, um, the E3 2017 uh, and stuff. I really don't know if that, um, they still any predictions on the next Mario Party game, or something, a different Party game, or even the next Mario and Sonic at the, uh, the Olympic Winter Games this time? We even know, we never know Fluttershy until when it gets to the point until we discuss more of those kinds of stuff until we get into the later days. So, but hopefully we can actually discuss more of those stuff later. So, anyway though. So as far as the release date on um, the Mind of We Two Superstar Saga plus battles is merely as far as that's been concerned. Um, it will probably, it will be the 6th of October possibly, because um, similar to how it does it in uh, specifically the UK releases of Mario Party Star Rush, that in last year they did actually announce that the release date on that game was actually formed on the 7th of October. But I believe this time around is going to be the 6th of October in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, Belt, and plus Belt Millions as a result too. So yeah, we're definitely looking forward to that game as far as that's been resolved. 
So I'm really hoping they actually fix this some of the um, fix this some of the issues that I have with the original release, which is for one, they actually up the uh, although the engine still runs exactly like how it does it in Dream Team and Paper Jam Brothers as well. But even then though, the major difference was though is that I don't think it actually brings up any 3D elements to the mix. Because it's though it's more accurately a top-down perspective this time around, and it makes everything else so much more original. So it makes the um, the game even much more nice than which yeah, still, it's pretty cool even to this day. So yeah, that's all I can say about this point, folks. So, I'm assuming you three are pretty much almost done with the Lost Jungle already. Oh yeah, another thing is worth mentioning though, is that recently we managed to get ourselves uh, two new DS games in our hands, which was our both WarioWare Touch for the Nintendo DS, and also Metroid Prime wow. Contest for the Nintendo wow. DS. Which, for us, well, because we actually did manage to sell these whole bunch of DS games, most notably the Combat of Giant Dragons, I don't have that anymore because I recently got stuck into this one particular section at one point. But even though, for some reason, we haven't exactly touched upon it yet. But even though, that's why we actually decided to sell that and get those two replacements, so... And the final thing before we actually end this video off just as that is that I recently managed to decide to actually quit upon the, um... Kingdom Hearts and uh, Kingdom Hearts Key Union Cross recently because although we will discuss more into details on that why we actually decided to quit on that game until during the next video. So anyways, I believe you're now moving on into the next character battle. Excuse me, miss. I was wondering if I could ask you something. If it's about a date, it'll have to wait. Date? You think this is a joke, you little brat? Now hand over that chow nice and easy. I bet you you're the ones who took chocolate chow. What? It's not nice to see my friends. Yeah, time to rock and roll! I'm guessing this is more accurately Team Chaotix, am I right? Um, yeah, of course. They're theirs. Okay, now time for the character battle, which is perhaps is probably one of the more difficult ones. There's gotta be a major misunderstanding here. But we can't back down we now. Like so yeah, why I make uh, what do I say that this character battle is by far the hardest of the bunch? Because the ma no matter what how many times I actually play this game in my own time, that sometimes I get really cheap deaths. Especially notice about they have to deal with the team blast mechanic um type of syndrome until just now. But even though no, that's all I can really say about this point though. So hey, at least we mastered done for the first try though. So yeah, I guess we'll have to end things off here just as for now. So join me and Buttercup and Fluttershy and Luigi and Buttercup uh, Bubbles next time. And let's play Sonic Heroes T Rose. Is the fact that moving on into Hang Castle now. So see you guys then. Later, fellas.